Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys how to CC your cylinder heads. So what I got here is a competition cam CC head kit. And I'm going to show you how to use one of them. And one of the main reasons I actually got it was I want to compare a couple different cylinder heads. I've got a Dodge Jeep Chrysler 4.7 liter cylinder head sitting here. This particular one's off an 08. Then I want to also compare the combustion chamber size to the earlier ones. And this, the one we're going to compare it to is one off of a 4.7 HO engine. And I want to find out which cylinder head has a uh, different size, you know, if they're different sized combustion chambers. Now I know the valves are the same size and I do know that the intake and exhaust ports are different size, but I'm also going to CC those and find out what the difference is between the two heads. And the reason you might want to know this is if you, what if you're interested in swapping this 08 head on to your earlier 4.7 and you don't know if you're going to gain or lose compression. And this could be critical if you're putting it on a, let's say a boosted engine. You really don't want to gain more compression. It's better to start off with a lower compression ratio on a boosted engine. So if these cylinder heads have a larger combustion chamber, that would be a really good thing. Now, if you were putting them on a naturally aspirated engine, you may consider um, putting a different piston in there, a dome piston, to get back any compression that you might have lost by using these cylinder heads. All right, well, let's get started. Now, this kit from Comp Cam comes complete. It comes with a piece of plexiglass with a hole drilled in it, the stand, and then the burette. This is a 100cc kit. Now, one of the first things you want to do, we got this one cylinder we're going to do, this combustion chamber right here. You're going to need two valves. And what I like to use is a little Vaseline. You could use a little grease as well. And you're going to put a film of that around the edge of the valve. Then you're going to use the Vaseline as well and place a film around the edge of the combustion chamber right here. Place the plexiglass on there and what I did is I leveled the cylinder head and of course I got it sitting on cylinder head stands. I made these stands uh, for this purpose and also for you know porting and polishing and working on the cylinder head. And when I leveled this I put the high side of the uh, head up here and that way I'm going to fill the fluid from this end and all the bubbles should work out out of that hole. Now I went ahead and filled the burette with uh, what they recommend is a 50-50 alcohol and distilled water mix. And then I put about three or four drops in this bottle and that way you can easily see your fluid in here. Otherwise it may be a little bit hard. And another thing you want to do when you fill this up you're going to want to turn this on before you start filling this up and make get some of that fluid right down there to the very tip because when you shut it off it's going to hold that fluid right to the tip and then make sure you're starting at zero up there and then as it drops down you're just going to simply read whatever it says on here and that's going to give you the volume of the combustion chamber and also don't forget to put the spark plugs in that you're going to be using all right i got this ready to go You can see how I got that air pocket right there. I gotta lift this side of the cylinder head a little bit and work that out of there.
There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we can continue to fill it. Be ready to shut it off, right? Almost there. Right there. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, right, that's 68, there's 69, 69.2, and then you read at the bottom of this, what's called a meniscus, that's the curvature of this uh, fluid right there. You can see the curvature, how it goes down. So you read at the bottom of that, and it comes out to 69.4. Okay, I went ahead and got the burette filled back up to the full mark. And what I did is I pulled the valves out, the ones that go with the 08 cylinder head. Now I got a set of HO valves here. Now I'm just curious, if we put those in there, does that change the volume any, plus or minus? We'll check that out right now. One thing about the late model valves, they are lighter than the HO valves. So there's that to consider too. Not as far as volume, but as far as performance goes. Now when I'm filling this up, this is actually four times speed. I've sped up the film. I like the way this one's filling. Right there. All right, let's see what we got. Well, as you can see, it's 69.4, so there's no change using these valves. Well, as you can see, putting the HO valves in didn't really change anything at all. Uh, maybe one cc difference. So, I mean, the only thing that's different about these valves then is the weight and then the design of them, you know, and that's about it. Uh, as far as chamber size, it's not going to change it much at all. Okay, what I'm going to do now is get the HO cylinder head set up with the HO valves in it, and we'll see how large that uh, chamber is. So let's see what we got here. And look at that, that is 63.8. Right here at the very bottom, the meniscus. Not quite 64, so. Well, 63.8 cc. That is considerably smaller than the 08 cylinder heads. Uh, you're talking 5.6 cc's. Uh, so if you were to do a head swap on a non-HO engine by putting the 08 cylinder heads on there uh, you're definitely going to lose some compression you know, you're going to be down in the eights uh, eight point something i'll have to figure it out and uh, post that now if you were to put the um, 08 cylinder heads on an ho engine um, i got to figure out uh, well they are 9.5 compared to the nine compression ratio of the non-HO. Uh, it might even out to where you're gonna be at a nine compression ratio on an HO engine if you were to put the 08 cylinder heads on there. Now, putting in, using the 08s on a non-HO engine, and now you're gonna be down into the eights, would be a good thing if you're boosting the engine if you're going to be, you know, forced induction as far as turbo or supercharger, because that's what you want. You want a lower compression ratio and let the turbo or supercharger do the work. Let it get the compression up there. So yeah, these cylinder heads, you're going to have a trade-off. 
depending on what you want. Of course, you could always, if you want compression, go with the, let's say, HO heads, and then port and polish your intake and exhaust ports to uh, improve the flow there. But I'll go ahead and get this uh, cylinder head set up for the intake port, and we'll see how many cc's we got there. Okay, I got the cylinder head all set up on the intake port. Got the injector in here, got it plugged up, and uh, we're ready to go. We're going to see just how much bigger this uh, intake runner is compared to the HO head. All right, here we go. This is going to take a moment to fill this up, and uh, you know, I'll most likely have to refill too. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through all of this. So far, we got 90 in there. All right, got it filled back up. there and I don't know if you can read that but it's right on 88 so plus the 90 that we just put into it we're looking at 178 cc now when measuring the ex intake or exhaust ports and you're putting the valve in here I used a spring just like this one here I actually picked this up in a local hardware store uh, McFaddendale hardware and it got you know an more than enough spring to it to hold the valve closed and it's easy enough to s install by hand and I just put one keeper in there just to hold it on there hold the retainer on there now I'm going to move this over to the uh, exhaust valve and we'll measure that one there we go all right, I got the exhaust port all set up here. This is on the 08 in, uh, cylinder head. Let's start it out. All right. And that comes out to 63 would be right here so 63.2 got to read at the bottom of the meniscus bottom of that uh, curvature 63.2 all right got the HO cylinder head all set up we're going to do the intake port first Okay, I came up with 158.2 cc's on the intake port. Now, that's 12.5% smaller than the 08 uh, cylinder heads. Now, that's pretty significant. Now, I think we're going to actually end up with a larger percentage difference on the exhaust port when it comes to the HO cylinder head here. So, let's find out. I got it all set up. Okay, what we got here is uh, 52.2. Well, as you can see, this CompCam CC kit gives you a lot of information. I mean, I learned that for sure that the 08 cylinder heads have a larger combustion chamber. And I suspected that uh, to begin with. And most people actually probably thought it was smaller because the compression ratio was actually higher on the 08 through 13 engines 
at 9.8 compared to 9.5 on the HO and 9 to 1 on the non-HO engines. And the reason the compression ratio is higher on the 08 and later models is because of the piston. If you look at it, it it's not what I'd call a dome piston because it actually looks like a dished piston in the center, but there is a dome on the outer edge of the piston and that's where they're getting their bump in compression. But one thing, the 08s are definitely going to uh, improve flow. I mean, you got larger exhaust ports and intake and that is going to help that engine breathe. So there, it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, the 08 cylinder head would definitely be great for a boosted engine, I think. You know, or if you want to take an HO and throw a set of 08 heads on it, yeah, you're going to drop a little bit in compression ratio, but you're still probably going to be right around 9 to 1. And that's still pretty decent. And then you're also going to improve the flow. You know, that engine's going to breathe. And uh, so I think like the trade-off of uh, compression, but the improved flow, you're going to come out ahead. All right, well, I hope you guys found that all helpful and informative. And if you did, please give me the thumbs up. That helps out the channel immensely. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and the little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications the next time I upload a video. I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links in the description below where you'll find Amazon links and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission. Really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next one.